Hey guys, K-Town 431. So I got some cool news. Um, my uh, folks invited me to meet up with them in Florida for uh, Daytona Bike Week this year, which is coming up uh, the beginning of March. So uh, I got the wife to give me the okay to head down there and gonna be riding my road glide there and spend some time with my folks. So with that being said, another cool thing was, this was given to me as a birthday present. So for y'all that don't know, Senna makes some really cool uh, Bluetooth stuff. So this video, uh, we're gonna be unboxing this and installing it into my Harley HJC helmet uh, to get ready for my trip coming up in a couple of weeks. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so I can honestly say I've never had a Senna device before. Uh, one guy I ride with has one, I believe it's gonna be the older model, the 30X, I think is what it is. But um, I've used some cheap uh, Chinese brand Amazon ones on my work helmet in the past. But I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, this one is the 50S. Uh, I was looking at the 50R originally. Uh, the difference being is the 50R is like hard mounted to your helmet and wired in where you cannot remove it without pulling everything out of your helmet. Uh, this one's like the older generation ones where it actually has a dock that you hard mount to your helmet with all the, the speakers and the mic and you can just take the actual Bluetooth communicator on and off to charge it. So that's what I wanted to go with. I think the R is more for the guys that are doing like the adventure riding and stuff like that. It's a little more uh, robust, if you will. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and open this up take a look at it here okay guys so we finally got it open um, you can see it all spread out here across my table uh, we got the actual communicator itself uh, with the older style uh, turn dial on it uh, this is different to the 3R because the 3R actually has three buttons on it and it's uh, the 3R compared to this one it looks like it's actually like hard mounted to your helmet itself uh, with all the communication uh, wires and stuff through the helmet. So if you're wanting to take it off and charge it, you actually have to pull everything off, or I don't know, I'm not sure if you can actually plug it in while it's still in the helmet or not. Where this one actually mounts to a dock that gets mounted to your helmet. So you can take it on and off pretty easily to charge it up and such. But it comes with several different uh, mic options, um, got the speakers, and then, you know, probably about five different languages versus uh, manuals. So we're gonna get started on it. Uh, I'm gonna try to break this up as easy as I can. Uh, I'm sure some of y'all have taken apart helmets before, so you don't need to see how to actually do that. So stay tuned for the next step. Okay guys, so we got the ear pads out. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, so I'll, I'll put a, an image up on the screen. But the, the HACs don't really leave you a whole lot of room uh, for the speakers. So I'm hoping they're gonna fit in there. There is no styrofoam, uh, sorry, not styrofoam. There is no Velcro already laid up in there. So we're gonna look, hopefully there's some way to mount those in there. I see some 3M tape, so. Okay, so I found the install procedures, the quick start guide also. You know, there's like five different books, but one of them was in English, luckily. So we're gonna get started on installing this. Um, you wanna open up the bag that has the dock which uh, mine already came with the speakers already wired in. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, if you look, it just plugs in the back and there's a little set screw to get that secured in there. So you're gonna wanna have that and then also find the 3M. Where are you? Ah, right here. The 3M stuff, uh, which you'll actually stick in the ear cups so your speakers have something to mount to. So you're gonna need that. So we're gonna go ahead and start on that step. Okay guys, so uh, Senna does give you a little Allen key uh, to undo these two little screws back here so you can pull the back plate off uh, because that's gonna go 
up inside your helmet between the outer shell and the inner padding. Um, and then you screw those back in to actually clamp it down to hold it secure inside your helmet. Alright, so that's pretty important. I mean, it, it's, I feel like it's plastic, so I'd probably not uh, tighten those screws down too incredibly tight. They were just past the finger tight in the box, so. So it's kind of hard to see. Um, right where the thinner padding ends, it starts getting towards the back part of the inside padding is where I set mine. Um, it only going so far because there's kind of a lip on the dock station right here. So that's as far up as it'll go. Once you got it in there, you want to put those screws back in there and snug it down so it don't go anywhere. And this is the actual dock that the controller will mount onto and you can take it off and, uh, and charge it uh, and leave all the wiring actually in place. That's where your mic boom is attached to it all. So we'll get that tightened down and start running some wires. Okay, so that's done. Um, again, I didn't go, you know, super tight on those screws because uh, this is all plastic and I don't want to take a chance of uh, cracking something in there. So I just went through a sharp rise and torque and just cranked it down a little bit more. Uh, and it's, it's on there pretty good. I mean, I can pull on it uh, with a little more force than the wind's ever gonna do and it's not moving. So we're gonna run the speakers through. It's fairly simple. I mean, all of them kind of the same. Just to, run the wires right above the actual top, top part of the liner inside the helmet and I stick them to the 3M uh, cloth backing that's in here. This, this Velcro is in the back of the speaker so it'll stick right to that and uh, we'll go from there. Okay guys, so I've gotten uh, the speakers into the helmet. Um, one of these wires is being a little finicky so but it'll be held down with the cheek pad so I'm not too concerned about it but uh once all that's there I'm gonna go ahead and put the cheek pads back on and then we'll go ahead and finish up with the mic boom and actually get the communicator installed and there's a lot of wiring here I'm guessing this is for uh um, add-ons maybe to do some recording of audio and stuff but we'll get to that the, the instructions I mean the purdy and all but they don't really tell you a whole lot as far as the install goes. So we'll get these cheek pads installed and uh, figure it out together. So one thing I just figured out, which I have not come across yet on uh, install videos for this. So on the cheek pad, you have this uh, plastic ridge that usually goes down in between the inner section of the helmet and the shell. Well, the dock is and the microphone boom is actually keeping that from going there. So probably going to have to do some modifications that maybe cut a certain piece away. Um, cause I don't want my boom running around the outside of my helmet and with it being a module helmet, it's going to be tough anyway, cause this would be getting hung up on the mic. So we're gonna have to trim some of this away. So stand by. So I went ahead and trimmed away, um, just a piece of that. Hopefully it'll work now. Make some room for that side of the vise. Okay, so, I mean, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it'll do. So able to get my mic boom in there, the cheek pad now is secured in there. So, get to put the other cheek pad in and I'll go ahead and install the communicator. A few moments later. All right, so that's in. One thing I will say about uh, HAC helmets compared to my old work helmet, which was a Nolan. The quality of their padding and the snaps that secure the padding, a lot better than the Nolans. Um, the first time I pulled out the Nolan uh, padding inside of there, it ripped the female ends of the snaps right off the foam. Um, it, it was kind of cheaply uh, set in there. But these, I mean, I, I had an HAC for work helmet for like three years, pulled those pads out every couple weeks to wash them and those female ends never pop free. They always stayed in place. So good quality helmet. And they're not even paying me to say that. Okay, so uh, kind of important to put it on and make sure that the speakers aren't gonna cause any kind of pain or be in a bad spot with it pushing on uh, your skull 
to cause some issues. So it feels pretty good. I don't even notice it there. Um, the mic boom is about where I want it. I don't want it being pressed between my lips and the chin bar when you got a <laughs> abnormally large uh, cranium as myself. You got to make sure that you have that off the side there so it's not interfering. So it feels comfortable enough. I don't think it's going to be an issue there. Okay, so I got the little mic boom um, foamy on there. Help with some of that background noise and that wind noise. I'm going to pop the communicator on there. Um, hopefully. So it looks like it actually has a little ridge it slides down on. There it goes. Snaps into place. Uh, let's see here. I guess it'd be important to find out which one the power button is. Okay, so I figured it out. <laughs> it's not that hard after all. Uh, phone button, back little button on the back there, and the toggle, which is also a button. Push and hold those for a second, and you'll hear the Cena lady. Hello. Yeah, sounds like it's working. All right. Well, uh, I'm just going to finish this up here real quick. I got to button up some more stuff on here and uh, figure out what I use for charging. Again, like I said, it comes with a lot of extra stuff, some extra foamies for the microphone. Using these for my work helmet, I go through these quite often. Uh, they rip and stuff and just get worn down after a while. It comes with some extra uh, little foamies for uh, the speakers as well. And oh, here's the other microphone I was talking about. It's just a one that you can stick to the inside of your helmet and it has the M3 tape for it as well. So yeah, that's gonna be it guys. Um, pretty simple install. I probably made it look a lot harder than it is. Uh, I had my kids in here at the beginning of the video so I was trying to deal with them as well. But uh, I'm excited to put this to use on my trip. Um, I will be doing a, I guess, documentary of sorts on that trip. It's gonna be a fairly long video. Um, that'll take some time to get done but it will be done, I'd probably say within a month after the trip. So I'll be looking forward to that. We do a lot of recording when I'm down there. I can't wait. Uh, I don't get to see my folks that often uh, since they live down there in Florida. But uh, looking forward to getting down there, putting this to good use. And I'll be doing a review on it when I get back. Uh, and also a long distance review on the Harley. I think it's called a capstone uh, helmet also. So stay tuned for that, guys. And until next time, ride safe. Keep the shiny side up.